Okay, so uh, hi everyone, this is Rosa here for this short video about uh, explaining to the people how to complete the PPP application process once they are both. Okay, uh, I need to mention that this is for the people who are doing the PPP application to us, and this is the platform that we are using for them. Okay, so um, whenever we submit your application, you receive an email like this telling you that your CPA has submitted and uh, economic injury on behalf of blah, 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 blah. And you can, you're can you going to receive a username and a password. Of course, once you log in, you can change the password. But the reason I'm making this video is not to let you know that you're going to receive a notification once your PPP is submitted, because I tell you when I'm helping you uh, preparing the application. The reason why I'm doing this video is because some people will receive, once you receive an approval, I've been receiving so many calls, like 10 or 20 call, phone call daily, because people receive the approval, they don't know how to process the next step to actually sign the loan document. And that's the reason why I'm coming here. Once you receive the approval through the process that we are using with our people, uh, you will be uh, prompted to provide some document. And I'm going to show you here, the reason I'm coming here, because this person right here, uh, let me see, this person right here received that, but he was not able to actually upload the document that I requested. That's the reason why uh, he wanted me to do it for him. Okay, so he shared the information with me so I can actually go there and upload the documentation. The main documentation, once you are approved, is to upload a void check. Okay, a void check is just a paper that says void on it a check that says right on it. And you can see over here that he was able to complete, uh, fill out those, um, those area, but he was not able to complete the voice. That's the reason why we will see here is still saying missing, okay, file missing. So he sent all his credentials to me for me to do it for him, okay? And I decided, I asked him that I will record it and share with other members so that they can actually do it by themselves, okay? The reason that why we are in this group, in this Facebook group, because I'm assuming that you are watching this within our PPP and EIDL Facebook group. Because if you are not in the group, I don't know why you should be watching this. You are not interested in receiving this EIDL program or uh, PPP. So without further ado, uh, I'm going to go back here to let you know that once you receive that, you will use the email that you receive at the beginning. So once you receive an approval, with some information requesting uh, documentation, okay? Of course, you receive an email. What you do is you go back to those credentials that you received at the beginning if you didn't change the password. Uh, I'm going to do it right now to just, you know, use this credential right here to log in into his, this client account so that I can help him to do whatever is supposed to be done, which is actually uh, uploads the check okay so you click on it to get, you get to this page i'm going to put you know the username and i think it's already safe looks like it was already safe in this computer so boom i get to this page right here okay and everybody should get to this page you can see that everything was submitted it started the application it was pending then it was submitted information needed what is the information needed the information needed is the Paycheck is actually the, the, this is what they want you to provide, basically. They have already reviewed all the documentation, okay? So don't worry about this portion here because I myself got confused at the beginning. I uploaded the, uh, you know, void check to allow them to disburse the money into the check uh, for which I'm going to send um, the information. And I was struggling on here until I figured out that there's nothing to be done here. The only thing you have to do it's basically to click this area, so click on it, and you're going to upload over here. Do not put the information. That is what he did. And that's why I was not able to actually, you know, uh, successfully upload the documentation. Over here, you have to upload the, the, the file first. For this time, is the, is the void check. So what do you do? You are going to go into your computer, okay, and pick the void check that you have already uh, saved somewhere in your computer, of course, okay? Once you save it, once you need to know why you save the, the void check, 
The voucher just means you take a check, you write, you write on it void so that nobody can use it. Nobody can use that number, basically, that check number. And I'm going to go ahead and upload that void check in here. So as you can see, I'm going to click here to upload. Over here, what do you do? It's simple. Just click here to search for where the check is, the void check is. Um, uh, those are, his name is Mark. Okay, the name is right there. This is Mark right here. This is the void check, okay? So basically this is the void check I'm going to upload into his file. Boom, once you, you put it right here, you upload it. Okay, the void check is there. You can see the void check is there, but the system could not read all the information in the void check. And that's the reason why, that's the reason why they are going to actually want you to, you know, input manually the information that are on the void check right here, okay? So this is what we are going to do right now. So I'm going to put all the information, the bank name, um, the business name, the ID number, account number, we, we tap it over there. Once you do it, you save it over there. So I'm going to close my camera uh, so that I can put the, his bank information right here. And I'm gonna save it. And I'm, you're gonna follow me up on the next step, okay? So yeah, give me one second. Boom, so you can, as you can see here, yeah, it was accepted this time, okay? So it's just pending for verification. So uh, your application has been accepted by the SBA. It is an initial approval. So now, once you're done here, you can see that you have all the term of the loan. It's a one, one, one interest per year, five year term loan. Uh, as you may also know, uh, it has 10 months deferment. So as you may also know is that the PPP is, uh, to me, it's a grant because they give you the money, they tell you how to do, not to pay back. Okay, so nobody should actually overlook this. It doesn't matter what, how much you are put for, whether you are put for 500 or 5,000 or $50,000, you should go for it. Because at the end of the day, once you use it, the only way you can keep it and that money becoming a loan is if you don't use it. And we know everybody needs money. You, you are applying because you need money for your business, right? So yeah, once it's done here, you, you're pretty much done, okay? There's nothing else to do over here, but, once you see the status was already approved here, but what I need to add here is that you don't have to do nothing right here, but you will receive another email telling you once you do this, you see over here, you didn't just, you need to, you didn't get the money yet, right? In order to receive the money, a lot of people are also going to miss it the way they did on the first, first round of PPP and even ARDL is that once you do this, it's not all. You still need to do something, okay? Because they're going to review it to see if the information you put matches. If maybe maybe you put the wrong, you know, um, wrong number or account number, they are not able to actually even process the money. So they will send you another email that will looks like this one, okay? This is somebody who already received the money. So it will look like this one. Uh, they will tell you that uh, contract support sent, uh, sent you a document to review and sign. So basically this is the, this is the uh, signed document, the loan, the closing uh, document. So you have to click on it, but I won't do it because this is for another customer and you have done it already. So there's no point here to click on it. Maybe when Mark receive his next level, next email with this same exact email here, and we're going to click it, review and sign it. So once you do it, you click here, you review and sign it, they will take you to this page here. That's it. oh, the document has been completed. Over here, you have done. You can see here, here all parties have completed SPB, uh, PPP, SP, SBA PPP loan agreement for signature, okay? So basically, you over this point, you have done. So. Yeah, uh, thank you for watching this. Uh, if you have a question, of course, uh, drop the question on the comment section of this uh, video. If you are, if you still haven't found way to find to apply for PPP, you can still email me or even request on the link below this video. Maybe I will send another link uh, for you to book an appointment for us to assist you on this. So until then, you guys have an wonderful day. 
Thank you, man. Thank you. Bye.